Hi there, for today's reading lesson, we are going to be reviewing poetry and the different elements of poetry. So before we get into um, the elements of poetry, what is poetry? We went over this on Monday, so this should be a little review. I'll give you some time to think back to that lesson. All right, if you need more time, pause the video. But poetry, well, it can be about anything, right? It can rhyme, like hop, top, mop, all those words end in op. Those, so that makes those words rhyming words, okay? Um, poems can express our feelings. So maybe it's a poem about, your, about being happy or maybe excitement or if you're feeling sad. Some poems can be really silly and funny and some can be very serious. Some poems are very easy to create, like our five senses poem that we created yesterday over pizza, okay? Um, some poems are short and some poems are very long. Some poems have titles, like this poem right here. This poem is titled Names. See, here's the title. And some poems don't have titles and that's okay. So some poems do have titles and some don't. Not all, not all poems end in a complete sentence. So let's look at an example. I'm a little penguin. Do you see right here how after each line, there is not a period? There's only, not each line ends in a period. This whole big thing right here has one period at the end. So not every poem has, um, not every poem ends with a complete sentence. Sometimes at the end of the line, there will be a period and sometimes there won't be, like in the example I just showed you. Some, poem, some poems have different shapes, and um, those poems are called shape poems. For example, you can have a poem that's in the shape of a heart, and then in the heart, there can be all these different things about happiness, maybe um, love, that kind of thing. So, so there are so many different types of poems. The one type of poem that we really covered um, was our five senses poem, which yesterday you actually made your own. So that was pretty cool. And then we have elements of poetry. A lot of poems have rhyming in them, repetition, and alliteration. So let's go ahead and start talking about elements of poetry and the ones that we covered. So right here we have rhyme. Go ahead and say that rhyme, repetition, and alliteration. Good. We do have rhythm, and we didn't really cover that this week. We just covered these three, and we also um, covered describing words, which I'll talk about in here in a minute. So rhyme. Rhyme. Words end with the same sound or sounds. Our example is cat and sat. They both end in the at. They both end with the at sound, and they're both in the same word family, right? We went over that a little bit, too. Our next thing we actually let's go ahead and look at a um, a poem that has rhyming in it. This poem right here, names. Okay, so everybody has a name. The, see, there is color coded. The ones in yellow are rhyme, green rhyme, and the ones in blue rhyme. Names. Everybody has a name. Some are different. Some are the same. Some are short. Some are long. All are right. None are wrong. I like my name. It's special to me. It's exactly who I want to be. So give me a thumbs up if name and same rhyme. They do. Are they part of the same word family too? Yeah, because they both have the, they both end in aim. Aim, n, aim, and s, aim. They both end in aim. And they're also spelled the same. So they are in the same word family. Does long and wrong rhyme? long and wrong. They do. And they both end with the ong sound, O and G. Are they part of the same word family? They are. They both have the same spelling. Me and B. Do those two words rhyme? They do. Are they part of the same word family? They are. All right, let's go ahead and talk about repetition. Go ahead and say that. Good job. The same words or lines are said over and over and over and over and over again, right? And that right there is an example of repetition, the bigger text. We kept saying that over and over again. Let's look at an example. Now we went over this poem the other day, so we're just going to review it. Snow. So 
So I'm going to read it, and then we're actually going to highlight all the repetition. Okay. Snow. This is the title. Snow, snow, lots of snow. Everywhere we look and everywhere we go. Snow on the sandbox, snow on the side, on the slide. Snow on the bicycle, left outside. Snow on the steps and snow on my feet. Snow on the sidewalk, snow on the sidewalk, snow on the sidewalk, down the street. Okay, what word was repeated over and over again? Snow. Let's go ahead and highlight that. So I know we've we started to do this the other day, so we're just going to see how many words, how many times snow is repeated. So far, quite a bit. Okay, the word snow is repeated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And then, so remember, words can be repeated or lines can be repeated. Snow on the sidewalk, snow on the sidewalk, snow on the sidewalk. That line was repeated three times. So this is an example of repetition in a poem. Also, we talked about po some poems have titles. Here's a title. And we talked about how some poems don't always end in a complete sentence after the end of each line. There's no period here until the very last line. So that's another example that we talked about earlier. All right. Next thing we're going to talk about is alliteration. Go ahead and say that word with me. Alliteration. Good job. Alliteration. Words near each other start with the same sound or sounds. For example, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. What letter are we focusing on? The letter P. Do we say that at least two or more times in that sentence? Yes. So it's an example of alliteration. Let's go ahead and um, look back at one of our examples that we've gone over. Here we go. Here's the one I made up. Magoni makes many muffins. What letter are we focusing on? The letter M, the sound of M. Do, in this sentence right here, do we have um, two or more words that begin with M? Yes. So this is an example of alliteration. Remember, you need at least two or more words that are nearby to make it an alliteration sentence. Amelia loves apples and apricots. What letter are we focusing on? The letter A. Do we have two or more words that begin with the letter A? We do, so that's a good example. And then right here, Kyle kicks five kangaroos. What letter are we focusing on? The letter K, right? And what is the sound for K? K. All right, and do we have two or more words that are close by? We do, right? The K, we have one, two, three. So that's a good example of alliteration. All right, our next element of poetry that we went over was describing words. And I know I didn't use that word, describing words. I talked about our senses, right? That's the word I use, our five senses. But describing words are words that tell how things look, do something, look, sound, feel, smell, or taste, right? Because we use our eyes to see our nose to smell, our mouth to taste, and our ears to hear, and our hands to touch. All right, so let's go ahead and look at a poem that we created together. All right, this poem is titled Carnival. We came up with this poem together whenever we watched that Brain Pop video over uh, Moby and Mia. So carnival, so we're focusing on carnivals, right? So we created a mental image of what it's like to be at a carnival and the different things we hear, see, feel, taste, and smell. So we use our senses. We create a mental image and use our senses to create this poem, okay? All right, let's go ahead and read the poem. I hear laughing. I see bright balloons. I feel the warm wind on my face. I taste cold ice cream. I smell sugary cotton candy. So this is a sensory poem. Go ahead and say that, sensory poem. Over what? The carnival. I also went, I also made one over popcorn. Popcorn. I hear popping and crunching. I see yellow and white. I feel warm and bumpy popcorn. I taste salt and butter. I smell buttery popcorn. What is this a, a poem over? Popcorn. So what I, what you could do is um, you think of what you want to write about. So you concentrate, focus, 
and use your senses to write a sensory poem, which you did yesterday whenever you wrote my pizza poem, right? Okay, okay, I hope you like that little review over the different elements of poetry, which are rhyme, repetition, alliteration, describing words, or your senses. Okay.